Okay guys, welcome back to another Runs of Tutorial and today we're going to be looking at how to download Houdini. For those of you who don't know Houdini, what Houdini is, uh, Houdini is a 3D amazing effects and, uh, and uh, 3D modeling uh, software. So it's something very very amazing if you're into the 3D and animation business or you're interested in uh, making some fun stuff. So uh, without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. I'll go to my pirate bay. It's the the most interesting pirate, uh, terrain stuff that I really want. So I just go and uh, type in Houdini and mostly I just press it into applications, and I'll uh, it will not take a lot of time before I get this. So I can download this. I can download that. I can download that. Depending if you are using a your computer is a 64 bit or it's 86 bit or a 32 bit. You just download any that you want. Um, for my case, I'm running on a, a Windows 80 80 uh, 80 86. So I'll just go ahead and click download, and then I'll just come here and then select OK, whatever, and I'll just take my bandwidth to the highest and this one to the highest also, and it will just get downloading and within a few minutes I'll be ready to get this so assuming it's done I just have to go and locate my uh, installation folder and then I have to start my installation right so I go to my folder oh, oh I have a problem right here sorry I had a slight problem so I just go to my D folder Oops, there again let me just put this guy down and I uh, tra travel to D my graphics and then right here it's just right here so you just go ahead click this and uh, walk through the installation and then we will be right back now as we speak I expect every, all of us to be through with the installation process so we go to our start menu we go to our administrative tools and uh, oh oh we go to our administrative tools and then services so once we're there we're there we just go to we look for Houdini servers we have this one and two so we just go ahead and just first stop it right and even we just disable it right okay we go and disable it and then stop it and then we click OK so it's it's disabled they're disabled they're not running and so we go back to our installation folder we go to the crack and we copy this this uh, exe patch we say copy and then we're going to paste it inside our, our system32 folder we go to windows then system32 system32 and then we have to paste it right it's right here we just paste it right there you see it? yeah it's right this one we paste it right there and uh, we have to wait a minute so once we're done, it's it's right here. Once we're done, we just go to a. Uh, uh, if we're done with that, we just go to a crack, right? That's our crack. We're gonna open it, and in a few minutes, uh, in a few seconds, I'll be showing you how how it's gonna be used. Because we need a, a, a server name in the server code. So we go to a start to all programs and we navigate to where our uh, Houdini was installed. So even before you start up the program, you need to go to the administrative tools and then the license administrator once it clicks on it takes a few minutes da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, trying to get up all the information that it needs um, and it shows up it says cannot connect to the license server on Sala. okay okay now since we've um, we've blocked the server so it cannot connect into it we have to first uh, uh, put in the server and then disconnect it otherwise we won't be able to read any information from it so we go back to look for our Houdini and then it's right here so we just click on it and then we say um, manually oh man. automatic oh, okay this way we just go right here where is it let me just put this into full screen so that we can see exactly what we're doing so we go to start it starts up and then this one too we go to automatic in the okay we have it it's right there so we since we have that we just go down back again just minimize it and then we just do the same procedure again and go back to our Houdini and then administrative tools and license administrator 
Aha, there we go, it's here. But for the meantime, what we exactly need is uh, the server information. So we go to the server information and we just see right now we have uh, the server li the, the license server host and the license server code. So we just pop it up here where we can see it. And then we just put this down here and then I can type Sala256. And uh, down here I can type uh, 32 df and 993f7. F7 and I can click OK and right here is the important thing that we really need. Down below here is uh, if you want to uh, make some advanced uh, configurations but uh, I wouldn't think so server configurations for that sake for that case. So right here the first uh, the first uh, key that we see is the most important key and that's generated for your server or for your computer server name that's why you see it has in solid 256 so which is my computer name so uh, of my computer name and I just have to copy this and then I just have to go to the file and then manually enter the keys right inside here I paste one by one in of any of these ones you just need about uh, five of them yeah five of them so you go ahead and uh, finish up with this as I wait on the other side of the road alright so assuming we are done and we've clicked OK and uh, we have accepted everything we have not yet started our Dini as per now so we go back to the server still alright and oh and what I didn't warn you about is that even before you click OK as in uh, to click uh, OK you have to just readjust this stuff and uh, switch it on and then you switch it you restart it back again and then you click OK alright so we just pop out of this and then go back to our Dini go back to our Dini and then let's try to start our Dini Ta -da -da. Oop. Good. There is it. There it goes. So, this is how Houdini looks like. Hmm. It's kind of similar to all the other 3D modeling software that we've been used to, like Maya in the 3D Max. But there are lots of stuff that confuse you because I know you must be like, oh my god, what, what is this? Where am I going to start from now? Uh, I'm completely messed up. <laughs> but uh, don't be worried we still have uh, every time you open up your Houdini you see this is running from my local host it shows you that it's on a computer so you have all these tutorials you can just download them immediately and so that you can not have the problem to uh, stream your bandwidth all the time so we have all these tutorials uh, they are basic tutorials you can start to have a walk through through Dini and then it can help you and the other amazing thing that I have I have this guys uh, this website it's called 3D Burst 3D Burst it's an amazing 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 website these guys are amazing uh, they have a, l a couple of tutorials including our uh, Houdini and as you can see right here it uh, it has an introduction telling the ball intro creating the flow creating the shape part one creating uh, the stage but uh, it's better you subscribe to get more uh, more help, and uh, you you really like what Houdini does, and it does really amazing amazing stuff that you would wow you, and you be like, my, this is completely amazing, right? So uh, I'll leave for you to make the tryouts and to try out lots of stuff with Houdini and to see how much you can use yourself with. Okay, if this tutorial was nice to you and it helped you in any kind of way, please subscribe to my comments and uh, subscribe and comment and also uh, read my tutorials. Thank you very much.